Hi. Uh, my next guest has one of the most recognizable uh, voices on television today. Aside from being the voice of ABC, he was also the longest-running horror movie host ever. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Goulardi himself, Ernie Anderson. Hi, Ernie. Nice to see you, sir. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, for people, uh, Goulardi was uh, Cleveland, essentially, wasn't it? Uh, it, it was Cleveland. Yeah. Cleveland? And what a great-looking audience. Yeah, we got a fine group of folks. They're marvelous. You should see the audiences on the West Coast. They look like polyester city, and their mad Lawrence Welk is off. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> their Lawrence Welk is off? Yes. Oh, you didn't no. know? No, I hadn't heard. <laughs> um, anyway, George Washington is not well either. For, for folks who, uh, who did not see Goulardi, tell us what that was, and when, and how it... Well, it was just a, it was a horror, they started out with a horror package, and I just went on and just did uh, what irreverent things I wanted to do. These were old horror movies. Yeah, but we outgrew those after a while. Uh -huh. That's and, it. And what sort of things would uh, this person do? Lunacy, blow things up. Uh -huh. So it was a uh, pretty sophisticated show, obviously, from the photo yeah. there. <laughs> you, would, you would actually blow things up. Yeah, you want me to autograph that? Sure, uh, please do. Not. Now, oh, uh, how would you blow things up? Firecrackers. Yeah. All kinds of firecrackers. One time somebody sends us some stuff, and we put it on the floor, and we put a little bit, and we'd light it, and it would throw it in the air. Yeah. So one day, uh, we decided we'd put a lot of it there. <laughs> and it went up in the air, yeah. and all of a sudden, the most horrendous explosion. Everybody came out of the place. The building actually shook. We didn't yeah. do that anymore. Yeah. Now, th we this, stopped that this was a very popular show, though, wasn't it? People like to see you blow stuff up. It was very popular. You're going <laughs> to... You want me to try it? You got a fire Oh, no, we don't, we don't have... I don't think ah. we have an explosive. The audience probably has that. <laughs> Their share of explosives. Now, tell us about this uh, project, uh, Ernie. Well, uh, Conway was my director at one time. We'd, I hosted a morning show, and Tim Conway was the director, and we would write sketches. And uh, this is a compilation of all the sketches that we wrote, uh -huh. so they wouldn't be totally lost. We decided we'd try to sell them to somebody. And uh, I think we sold less than the guy that's going to be on tomorrow night's books. Uh, uh, now this was back 33, in... I think, we sold. He sold 34, you see. Yes. This was back in Cleveland. Why am I so nervous? Are you nervous? Well, I haven't been in front of a camera since I rang the bell on the Carol Burnett show. Now, tell us about... Which is no... <laughs> when, when that show first went on the air, she mm -hmm. would come out uh, every evening and... Uh, not every evening, but whenever... When it was on Saturdays, whatever? I forget. And I forget. Uh, they Saturday would introduce night, you from the audience. How did that... Why was that? Well, I used to play golf with Joe Hamilton, who... Uh, her husband and uh, Harvey Corman and Tim Conway. Thank you for Joe. I'll, <laughs> I'll say hello to him for you. Uh, I, uh, we used to play golf, and Harvey came out right. one night, and he had broken his ankle while playing golf or something. And just out of the kindness of his heart, he introduced me, sitting in the audience. I got like a laugh in applause. Yeah. You know, and, and they thought that was quite amusing. So that one entrance, that one introduction, they played all season long. Yeah. Every night. Ernie Anderson out there. And did you, did you get some reaction from that? Oh, yeah. Nobody seemed to care who Ernie <laughs> Anderson was. Uh, all right, they let's... They made bumper stickers up, you know. Let's, let's tell the folks what you do now for a living if they have not already <coughs> recognized your voice. You are, what, describe the occupation. Uh, I am the voiceover for ABC primetime right. shows. You make your Promos. living uh, with your voice, doing mm -hmm. commercials also? Oh, yeah. I yeah. do Honda and Dodge truck, Ram tough. Yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now, uh, are, you, are you warmed up and, and ready to go uh, here? Uh, almost. Okay. Uh, I've, I've, I uh, get my throat back here. Yeah. I have uh, uh hoochie rough, rough. Mm -hmm. All all important. <laughs> really important. Friends from all over the country, when they found out you were going to be on the show, they uh, said well, I'll I'll tell you what they said. Uh, they sort of put later. down some thoughts. Dear Ernie, uh -huh. I just had a fight with my girlfriend and I uh -huh. think it would help bring us together if she could hear your promo mm -hmm. promotion. Mm -hmm for Vegas, a television show that is, I believe, now off the air. Yes, sir. Uh, the way we listened to it in 1977. Uh, memories. Bill Pruitt would like to hear that promo, and uh, we jotted, uh, this would Try be... Try to do that. <coughs> okay, but I have the, uh, could you like a bread about it here? Come in from this side. Right, right. You ready? Go. Does it need to be lower? Lower, lower. Lower, a little lower? Yeah. I also need my glasses. That's terribly critical. Okay. Have to see it. Okay. <coughs> this is the Vegas promo yeah, from 1977. Mm. All right, all right, all right, all right. Excuse me, Mr. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, Bob. The mob wants Dan Tanner bad, but Dan gets the mob good on Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Now that was nice. Very nice. And you want to try Would another like? one? Thank you. Uh, dear Ernie, I know Don't you never did a promo for Ozzie and Harriet. No, I never did. Since no. it was on in the 50s, but I live in a nursing home, and nothing would give me more pleasure than uh -huh. hearing you do one now, Charles Anson says here. Now, this would be if you were around in the days of Ozzie and Harriet doing I was. promotional, but you oh, were but not the voice. Right. Okay. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Okay. Okay. Ozzie thinks he's having a quiet evening at home, but Rick's having a party tonight on Ozzie and Harriet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know... If we did promos like that, they'd still be on the air. That's right. That's exactly right. Uh, well, that show was on the air for like 25 years. Oh, anyway, I know. Yeah, forever. Yeah. Um, okay, one more here. Okay. Uh, dear Ernie, uh, my husband... I didn't realize that your voice meant so much to so many people. My husband and I drove five hours in the rain to hear you live in concert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but our car broke down and we missed the first part of your show where you did Roots. Oh, yeah, Roots, great. Could you do it for us now? Sincerely, Cynthia Wegman, Roots. Sure, but she want, she want the original or the, or the quick follow of the special presentation? I tell you what, I let's do the original and then we'll Dumbo. deal with subsequent Roots <coughs> presentations. Okay. Haji Wawa. Yep, yep. It's amusing. It's, I make my living doing that. <clears throat> okay, tonight, the saga of an American... Beep, beep. beep. Take two. Take two. Now, that's something they wouldn't hear at home no. normally. That's right. And okay. then I swear a lot. All right. Usually right about in there. Very rare. An Ernie Anderson hmm. mistake. <laughs> okay. Tonight, the saga of an American family continues. Roots. Okay? Oh, my. Then, of course. Now, then the would, following year. This would be the following, the following year. year. Okay. Yeah. This week. A special encore presentation of the most highly acclaimed show of all time, Roots. Ah. <laughs> huh? Let me let me hear let me hear one more Roots. Can you just one, one more Roots? Just the Roots. Just the Roots. Oh, I gotta just be here. Roots. I can't just do it. I gotta be here. Roots. Yeah. All right. Time for one more quick one here. All right. Uh, dear Ernie, how about letting us hear that medley of ABC hits you did on your college tour? Thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. Foreman. A medley, oh, a medley of your stuff. best announcements. <clears throat> oh, this is big stuff. How'd you wow? Whoop! Yeah. I mean, what this is it? How'd you wow? How'd you Tonight, things you've never seen on That's Incredible. Then at nine, it's the love boat. <laughs> Followed by a special 2020 report on wet t-shirt contests. <laughs> then, Jennifer goes undercover to model as a... Uh, Oh, you're... Uh, two. All right, one yeah, more. Two. I'm right, allowed to take. Sure you are. Hmm. Then, Jennifer goes undercover as a model on Heart to Heart. At 11, it's the love boat again. <laughs> followed by a recently discovered episode of The Winds of War. Oh, right. Remember, that's incredible. The love boat. 2020, Heart to Heart, and the love boat again. And, and, the winds of war. Unbelievable. We'll be right back. Okay, uh, we're, we're out of time. And uh, here now to wrap up the festivities uh, for tonight, once again, Mr. Ernie Anderson. Ernie? David would like to thank his guests, Harvey Firestein, Tracy Austin, Ernie Anderson, and he invites you to join us tomorrow for the member of the Monty Python, Eric Idle, boxer Ray Boom Boom Mancini, author of a book that sold 34 copies, Stanley Anderson. Plus Roots, we'll be running for the Roots. Uh, maybe Roots will be running for the Roots. Good night, folks.